Here we go, then green flag goes down and our sack all colours of the evening gets underway for our three semi national bangers. The world has been very lively, a couple of races. Haha, <laughs> Big B's already turning it around. So if he does it, anyone, he could land himself in very hot morning water. The question is, who is he looking for? It's not Wigley. Boris Jr. is out there, Lewis Draper. Shane Davis is out there in 158. Dean Jarvis is still lurking. Frenchy attacking Craig Cooper. And Frenchy comes around the turn, still on the hot pursuit of Craig Cooper as they come out and turn. Here comes Big D, he's off the Sambo! Takes him on! Black flag! And Shane Davis right through the back wheel of Big D. And it's Shane Davis that takes up the lead in the process. So that has got to be the end of Dean Jarvis' car now. The Sambo is standing across the turn. Here comes Shane Davis once again. Quick look to his left. Here comes Frenchy. Oh, I thought he was going to the side of Sambo as he spins out Craig Cooper on the pitch turn. Simon Wood goes round in the degree in 683. It will be halfway next time as Boris Jr. and Lewis Draper get by Shane Davis, it's halfway next time through. Jack and Senior's out there in 162. Robert Wheatley, the rest race through. Nathan Roberts gone to the centre. Nash is also on the centre as well in 203. Michael Carter's gone on the exit of the roadway bend in 329. And uh, Simon Wood, oh, I thought he was coming off on Sambo across the bend. Here comes Shane Davis chasing down. At the back end of the back marking 28 straight to the Cooper car. But Scott, he's gone around on the back train 373 and Super Cooper is now under attack from Shane Davis into the pits turn he goes, launches him on, but he uh, lets him go for the meanwhile. Shane Davis plays the chasing game on the back mark of the Cooper car. Probably grinning from here to here as he does it. Cooper moves wide and lets Shane through. Well, I've had enough of you now, keep going. As Scotty races once again in 373, rejoins on the pack of eight. There'll be two to go next time, no, two next time. A 158 Shane Davis comes up to the back end of Jack Hall Senior down into the pit turn. And Robert Wheatley's under threat as Shane Davis looks up the inside, can look over his shoulder. Ray Cooper caught him up as well, 158. So 158 Shane Davis still runs well. Oh, Wigley, I thought he was going to have a good go. At 162 in the end, he got it all wrong. It comes Martin Friend on the back end of Wigley on the fifth turn. And chucks him into turn three. I said that car weren't going home tonight. Race ball again. And it limps away with the checker flag going down. A 158 Shane Davis goes to the back of Hossop. Who picked up Wigley on the home straight. Hotsocks still pushing Wigley around. Morris Jr. with the out Hotsocks pushing wheel. As they go around the roadway bend, here comes Scott in 373 of Morris Jr. Martin French on Scotty as he gets pushed in. Ow! And a solid shot and rollover. Fire as well on the Shane Davis car. Reds are out. Red flag, please. On a destructive end to all comers too. A fire on Shane this is car on its side, the fire extinguisher is stripping as he blitzes Sam Beasley on the road. Again, turn two takes the action. For all those who say he's happens on the pitch turn, well, I think it's fair to say that the other end of the track has uh, seen its fair share of action as well. Another very good race from the 370 National Bangers. And ends with a roll for Shane Davis. Believe it or not, he is also a race winner of all colours in race number two. <laughs> oh, Simon Wood, yeah.